Hi there guys, my name is Zach and welcome to Painting Support Group. This week we're going to be painting a very battle-worn Necron and I've assembled a Necron Warrior and just to give him a bit more character I've added some um, texture to his back and a grass tuft and I've also put a magnet under his base to help me store him and also to help me to spray him. And that's what I'm going to do now. Take him outside, spray him black and then do a zenithal highlight of white. Then after that we're going to get some contrast agaros dunes and some contrast snakebite leather and then a little bit of militarum green and we're just going to uh, paint those all over and I'm using the same brush and I'm going into all three paints and really just mixing them on the model so it's still wet it all gets painted all over and mixed on and then we're going to come in and we're going to do make him look more metallic so fire dragon bright and we're going to dab that on with an old brush this isn't really dry brushing but it's um, stippling so stabbing motions with the brush getting that orange on for some rust effects on top of the brown and then we're going to get some chain mail on a sponge and we're going to do a heavy dabbing of that all over so basically all of the browns and the orange here are creating a rust effect and then we're adding metallics on the places where the rust has been knocked off. So we're kind of doing reverse weathering almost. So we've done that and now we're going to come with Mithril Silver. Now obviously uh, Chainmail and Mithril Silver aren't um, current GW paints. Um, you might want to use, um, I think it's uh, uh, Stormhost Silver instead of Mithril Silver and uh, um, instead of Chainmail I think you can use Grey Knight um, Grey Knight Metal something like that I should have looked this up before doing the video maybe I'll do that next time um, there we go so I've just done some edge highlights there just with the Mithril Silver or Stormhost Silver if you're that way inclined now I'm going to do the glowy green bits. So we're going to paint all of the bits that we want to glow. So that's the gun, tube, and the pipes uh, with Wraithbone first of all. And here I have focused on my hand instead of the actual model, which was stupid. And uh, oh yeah, with the warriors you, you want to get all of those little grids as well so I actually needed to do two layers of this um, in order to get a nice flat colour but I needed it to dry so then I just painted the base grey obviously with your necrons you just base them however you like now I'm going to come back with Hex Wraith Flame and I'm going to paint that on top of the Wraithbone. Now Games Workshop are releasing a new special glowy paint. I've no idea how it works. I'm doing this before the new box set comes out. Uh, I'm excited to explore with them but for now we'll use Hex Wraith Flame and we're going to paint that all over the white bits to give a kind of nice really bright green. And then while that dries, because that's going to take a long time to dry, I paint the edge of the base with Abaddon Black. Basically the only thing you ever need to use Abaddon Black for now that Black Templars are out. Oh, Wraithbone again. Uh, Wraithbone. Now to do a highlight on the green to give it kind of a glow. And painting it, moving my brush strokes towards where I want it to be the whitest, the brightest. So um, moving it towards the middle and then doing some edge highlights on the texture on the tube. So I'm using the edge of my brush there 
just dragging it along the detail uh, and that creates a nice really quick edge highlight almost like a very very close in um, dry brush now I'm going to finish off the base and I'm painting it with just some simple PVA glue and then I'm going to use some Luke's APS uh, base ready range this is the city rubble I thought that would be good and then I put it on and I thought ah it's far too bright not really a fan so I got some um, this is Coelia green shade and I really loaded up the brush and dabbed this all over the base so now it's got a dark green tint slightly more necrony I could have left it here but I thought hey let's do something else interesting so I got some black Templar and now again just with a really wet brush I'm dabbing it around the edge and just letting it flow through the base ready range and it creates a nice gradient between the black and the green there so that's a much nicer effect I think than, um, than just the base ready by itself I, I think obviously the base ready does work but I'm going for a really dark look here with this Necron so what do you think um, this is a new thing for me to try doing a really weathered look let me know what you think, uh, give me a thumbs up, or um, if you're not keen, leave a like, tell me why, leave a comment, even, tell me why, it'd be great to hear from you, see you in the next video, bye.